Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. Man, what a beautiful day and a beautiful morning God has blessed us with. You know, anytime I wake up, you know, I'm going to do my best to uh, be a conduit or, or be a, a vehicle that, that love can uh, flow through me and to, to, so God can use me in any way, you know, he will to help others uh, to spread light, love, truth to all, you know, who I come in contact with. You know, I, I pray for my enemies that uh, they may, you know, experience the love and, and, and the peace uh, that I have uh, because it, it's awesome, you know, and, and God's children, that's what we do. We love. We love, you know, and and it, and and to be able to to spread love to others, you know, that's that's I, I love being able to do that. But not all will receive, you know. A lot of people won't receive, you know, uh, the love that God has. And uh, but you know that's okay. That's their choice, you know, because He gives us free will. But uh, I I choose to give my will back to God because He knows He He you know He knows what's uh what's ahead, and He could do a lot more with 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 uh with my will than I can. He, he can produce a whole lot more. So, you know, because I'm limited. And, and But when I give my will back to God, you know, it, op it opens up doors, you know, that I can't open. And uh, so anyway, today I I'm on step five. Uh, and that is we admit it to God that our we admit it to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. And this is the scripture that, 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 that came from. Uh, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each others so that you may be healed. And that's James uh, 5, uh, 16. Like I say, all, all the uh, steps came out of the Bible. So, you know, it's power. And, you know, God's words are in the Bible. Living words, you know, power. And uh, you can trust. And you, you can have faith in his words, you know. And that, you know, that's where uh, faith is uh is, is so vital and important, you know, to a person's spiritual growth, you know, because, uh, you know, a lot of times we might have to wait, you know, and that builds faith, you know, that, that builds trust, excuse me, in, in our Father in heaven. And he won't never let you down. He won't never let you down, you know, just like I was telling my enemies. Y'all standing on sand, I'm standing on rock. And uh, so, you know, uh, I will wait, you know, uh, and, and because at the end, Excuse me. At the end, the truth will will be revealed. You know, the light will shine on the darkness. You know, those are God's words, and and at some point it will, and it, and it is. You know, uh, you you can you can count on God's words. You can count on it. It won't, won't never let you down. Anyway, this is uh, unending love, uh, God's love for us. It won't ever stop. Uh, we may be solely aware of the deep shame trouble and pain we inflicted on our families when we were controlled by by our addictions you know and i i am sorry for the shame that i brought to my family and to people you know that know me uh, addiction does that you know uh, we do things you know i've done things i never thought i would ever do that i'm ashamed of and uh, but I, 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 I've, I've taken uh full responsibility for all my actions positive and negative because uh if I don't, you know, it, it, it still has control over me. But when I when I reach up and grab it and say, uh, yeah, I did this, then it doesn't control me anymore. And so, you know, and I admit, so, you know, that's why this, this step is so powerful, you know, admit, admitting, you know, all your stuff and the nature of your stuff, you know. And it's fear. Fear was holding me back. and uh, but, but now I'm controlled by love. You know, when God moves on you and, and, and he shows you who you are, you're not controlled by fear no more. You're controlled by love. That's why God's using me as his mouthpiece to change the world from fear back to love. Because I'm not fear-driven. I'm love-driven. And so when you're love-driven, you're open to all the power that, that is needed. You know, the power that God's given me, it has no end. But but the power that that uh, that, that haters got, uh, their power is limited. So, you know, uh, their, their source will run out. Mine won't. Praise God. I'm powered by God. I'm powered by Holy Spirit. And King Jesus is up in the house uh, leading and guiding. Praise God. Uh, we may be afraid to admit the exact nature of our wrongs because we don't understand how God could love someone who is so bad. I, I thought that. 
I thought that too, you know, but, but your mind don't, don't, you know, it don't have the, uh, the, the uh, capacity to understand spirit. It don't have the capacity to understand love. It don't have the capacity, the capacity to understand, you know, non-judgment uh, uh, and, and the, uh, and, and the, uh, and the love that God has for us, no matter what we do, you know, we turn back to him. That's why Jesus came and died for us. You know, he did a perfect job, you know, he, he did a complete job. So there's nothing that we that we can do that, that God won't love us except for blasphemy the Holy Spirit. Uh, so anyway, you know, so no matter what you've done, as long as you haven't done that, uh, turn back to God. He's there. He's there. Even if you're doing witchcraft and stuff, you turn back to God, he'll forgive you. Praise God. You know, if, if, if uh, just just turn to God, he said he'll be there. Uh but, you know, it's your choice. He said a lot of people uh, will choose to stay where they're at. But uh, those people, a lot of them, they're going to miss the ride with Jesus. And they're going to have that sinking feeling inside of them. Excuse me, when uh, when Jesus come back in the cloud and they, they watch us rise, and they're going to be stuck. And they're going to know they're going to be stuck for eternity. Don't be stuck for eternity. Rise with, with, our, with our king when he comes back in the clouds. Praise God. Hosea was a prophet to the rebel, rebellious nation of Israel. God used Hosea life to demonstrate his unconditional love for us and his people. That's the word I was looking for, unconditional love. That's see, that's what I'm here for too, is unconditional love. All the people that has uh hurt me, you know, and tortured me, I still love them. You know? They um uh, it my love is unconditional and that means they under any condition I will still love you. You know, I don't mean I have to be with you or or you know have you, you know, uh uh, that contaminating uh, negative energy in, in, in my presence, but I can still love you from a distance. Praise God. You know, God will give you that. King Jesus, he, Jesus said, you know, we can love our enemies. And he's not a liar. He's right. You, you know, when you when you hook up with God, uh, there, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing you can't do. Praise God. The Lord told Hosea to marry a prostitute. Uh, Hosea married her, loved her, and devoted himself to her. But later, his wife relapsed into her old ways, broke Hosea's heart, and brought shame on, on their family. She fell into slavery. God then baffled Hosea by telling him, go and love your wife again, even though she committed adultery with another lover. This will illustrate that the Lord still loves Israel, even though the people have turned to other gods. Hosea 3.1. Excuse me. We may ask, how could God or anyone still love me? But God asks, oh, how can I give up on you? He won't ever give up on us. He didn't give up on me, all the stuff I've done, you know, uh, and God still loves me, you know. I was like, you know, just like, you know, the times I failed and, and felt bad, uh, God get always, he, he, you know, because he knows your heart, Ooh, Holy Spirit, and he always gives me something, just like, you know, the time when, when I, I told God, you know, I said, you know, I don't feel worthy to be your to be your servant. And he told me, you're my son. And, you know, and then the other day, you know, I, I, I felt bad, you know, because I was struggling. And, and, and Holy Spirit, you know, told me, uh, told me that uh, uh, I, I'm a Satan slayer. So, you know, uh, Holy Spirit's awesome, man. God is awesome. Just, you, know, you know, your ego would tell you, you know, that, 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 that to, to turn, you know, look down, from, you know, don't look, turn to God. You know, that's what the devil wants you to do. Don't do what the devil wants you to do. Turn to God no matter what. No matter what you've done, turn to God. He got you. He just waiting. He already know. God created you, so he knows all the positive and negative stuff you got. So, you know, when you bring that negative stuff to God, he's like, I'm just waiting for you to turn to me. I already know. I already know all that stuff you got in the closet. I'm just waiting for you to uh, admit it. I made you. Where do you think you got that negative stuff from? You got it from me, God. <laughs> He just said, wait, he's just waiting for you to admit it. He already know. Praise God. There ain't nothing God don't know. How can I let you, let you go? How can I destroy you? My heart is torn, is turned within me. It's torn within me. And my compassion overflows. God, that compassion, boy, it, that's, that's strong. For I am God and not a mere mortal. I am the Holy One living among you. And I will not come to destroy. Hosea 11, 8, 9. Excuse me. 
there's absolutely nothing we can do or confess to God that would cause him to stop loving us. Nothing. Praise God. Praise God. But anyway, that's all I have today. I want to say there's no relationship greater than the one with thy glorious creator. Let love reign in your life. I love you. God bless you. Have a blessed day.